Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on for Taurus the next 48 hours? If you have Taurus anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you. Okay, let's get into this. What's going on for Taurus next 48? Okay, we have blessings and abundance. Beautiful energy. At the bottom we have courage and bravery. You may have blessings that are coming forward for you, Taurus. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's get a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Next 48 hours, please. Okay. We have a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, so if you're open to love, Taurus, love is coming forward. Show the world the real you. Be authentic. Show the world that beautiful Taurus. Okay, more messages for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus next 48 hours, please? Taurus next 48 hours. Okay, we have voice of truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of perse persecution and speak your truth. There may be some kind of situation that you're in that you may have to really open up and, you know, really trust. At the bottom we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are unconditionally loved. You are loved unconditionally. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some tarot for some messages for Taurus. What is going on for Taurus the next 48 hours, please, Spirit? Message for Taurus the next 48 hours. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. We have the High Priestess. Beautiful. Wow, the Six of Wands. And we have the King of Swords. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Taurus. I'm, I feel like, you know, with these cards that came through, I feel like the universe is asking you to trust. Trust in some kind of journey that you're going on. If I feel like if the answers aren't clear, I feel like you're going to get the clarity. You're going to get the right direction to move into that's going to bring you success. That's going to bring you to being recognized, to being really rewarded for some kind of action. So I, I really feel like the next 48 hours you're going to have some kind of breakthrough in your ideas that are going to push you into this blessings and abundance. You know, we have blessings and abundance up here. Now, the Six of Wands, this is success. This is being very successful. The King of Swords, he is a strategic thinker. You know, he's also very wise, very um, thought-provoking. You know, he, he's able to use his intellect to increase his value, to increase his ability. So, and I feel like he's able to kind of cut through to the truth of any situation. And I feel like you're kind of cutting your way into some kind of success, some blessings, some kind of abundance. This may be some sort of idea that you need to put your trust into. Something that you may be holding on to yourself. But it may be something that you need to share with the world. With this, you know, um, see, we had one card. It said, yeah, show the world the real you. So I, I believe that's like trusting that your idea is going to be very successful. You know? 
Okay, now with a new romantic cycle begins, we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow, okay. So I feel like this, this new romantic cycle that's starting to begin, this is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of balance. I feel like this is a lot of good karmic energy. I, I feel like you have very good chemistry with this person. If this is you or if this is someone else's energy, Taurus, you know, the pinnacles are your energy. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, you may be seeing a Virgo or Capricorn, or you may be seeing another Taurus. Um, but I feel like you are giving this person a lot of value, and I feel like they're kind of giving that value right back to you. There's a lot of good chemistry between you and this person. It's something that maybe you have been waiting for, you have been wishing for for a while to have someone who really values you the same way that you value them. Um, but I feel like it's bringing a lot of value, a lot of investment into your life. You know? Hmm. This may be that blessings and abundance is coming through. Okay. With this voice of truth, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Wow. Okay. At the bottom we have the world. So there's definitely something that you're completing. But I still think that there's a little bit of work that you need to be done. That needs to be done. And I feel like you are probably going to see some kind of movement in the next 48 hours. Um, because the, the Two of Pentacles is choices. It's kind of weighing your options and making the best choice for you. You know, it's like maybe taking the road less traveled, but really finding value in going that path. And we have the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, as something is completing, something is ending, I feel like you're moving into more of a calmer situation. You're moving into a new experience that maybe you haven't experienced before. See, she's moving into a new destination. She's moving into this new adventure. And with the world card on the bottom, there's something that you've completed. There's some kind of achievement or goal, some kind of lessons you learned that are moving you into this new situation. Okay? Okay, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and get some more cards for Taurus. Tell me more about this situation. Okay, Taurus. Tell me more about this. High Priestess, Six of Wands, King of Swords. Tell me more about this, please. Opportunities. Opportunities. I feel like there's opportunities coming around for you. Look at this. Clarifying the King of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords. So definitely you're finding clarity. You're, you're able to really focus on being more self-sufficient. Finding your stability. You know, gaining good ground. And it may be because of one of these opportunities that you're taking. Um... And I feel like with the High Priestess, I feel like this may be something to where you are trusting your choice of opportunities. You know? But something is bringing you a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance. And I feel like it's one of these opportunities that you have the choice to take. Okay? Um, let's move on. What is this Nine of Cups? Six of Pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the Sun card. Beautiful. And the Fool. Oh, wow. Okay, Taurus. This is this, this new love cycle that's beginning is going to bring you a lot of happiness. A lot of enjoyment. This is taking you on a new journey. Taking the leap of faith. 
you know, doing something that you may not have done before. This new relationship may be taking you to experience new things. Um, but this is beautiful for the next 48 hours. This is really beautiful. Okay, let's get more messages for Taurus. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Six, look at this. The Six of Swords is clarified by the Six of Swords, definitely. Your will is moving. Things are changing. I feel like these choices that you had to make are very important because I feel like whatever it is that you have to leave behind, whatever it is that is complete, I feel like it's it's getting this wheel to spin. It's kind of moving toward a fateful destination. You're finding your fate. Something is fated. Something is written in stone. And it has you, it has these changes being made and you moving into this calmer space. Look at that. It looks like a rainbow across the water. So I, I feel like this is, you know, very happy for you. Look at this. We have the two of pentacles again at the bottom. So it's definitely some kind of situation to where, yes, you may be weighing your options. Yes, you may need to make a choice. But I feel like this choice is going to move you into the direction of your destiny. You know, whatever you learned, whatever you had to let go of, it's moving you into this place where you were meant to land. You know, you have the Six of Swords twice. It's telling you double clarification. You are meant to move to, you know, move from your comfort zone. You know, take a risk. Something had to transition, you know. Very interesting. Okay, we're going to get... A few more cards to clarify and then we're going to go ahead and end the reading okay Taurus give me more messages for Taurus the next 48 hours tell me more the next 48 hours please okay the ace of swords yeah something you're hitting a breakthrough for this first message these blessings and abundance you're hitting a breakthrough some ideas you're going to run with for your second message, this new romantic venture that's unfolding, you're gaining your power. This is a, either your energy or someone else's. Um, it may be an Aries that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like this is someone who's very charming, very powerful, very respected. You know? Um, I feel like you are definitely gaining the power of your situation you are in this new ability beautiful okay with the will of fortune and the six of swords we have the hangman so definitely you're seeing things at a different perspective you're moving into this more balanced feeling you know having more control having more patience so I feel like whatever this is, is, is providing you with balance, some kind of stable situation. These are gifts being given to you. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look at the some oracle cards and we'll go ahead and end this reading. Okay. What do we have for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising. Okay. We have yes. If you have a question that needs to be answered, Taurus, the answer is yes. Beautiful. We also have courage and bravery again. So I, I feel like you have all the ability that you need. At the bottom we have trust the universe. So trust. 
Okay, let's get another card, please. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, next 48 hours. Another card for Taurus, next 48 hours, please. Okay, okay, we have two cards that wanted to come out. Two and two, wow. Okay, don't let pride get in your way. Leo energy, strength, more strength. Look, we have courage and bravery here. We have strength here. Don't let your pride get in the way. Okay? And your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Beautiful. Okay, let's get one more card, please. What does Taurus need to know next 48 hours? What does Taurus need to know next 48 hours, please? Okay, we have faith. Humanity and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. So trust. At the bottom we have soul flame. So this person that you're meeting may be your soul flame. It may be the energy that you have been wishing for, you have been hoping for. You may be manifesting, you know. Um... Soul flame, rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, Taurus, this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um... And until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.